Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to practice our naming. So step one is always to identify the longest continuous chain. And so here we've got one, two, three, four, five carbons. So that's the table part. So we go to five and that's pent. So we can write the word pent. Then we need to identify the homologous. So that's to identify whether it's an alcohol, alkene, alkyne, carboxylic acid. You know there's nine of those different types. So this one has an OH at the end and it's got no double bond oxygen or anything like that. So this is an alcohol. The alcohol is on which carbon? Well, it's on carbon number one over there. And so remember we have to say pentan and then one and then all like that. Then we need to look for the branches. So we've taken care of that or some people call it the attachments. So we've got attachments here on carbon number two. We can see there's this attachment. And then on carbon number three, we've got this attachment. Each of those attachments have how many carbons? Well, they just have one carbon. So we go to our carbons in branch and we see that that would be methyl. So we can write the word methyl over here. And then on which carbons did we have that? Well, that was on two and three. So we say two comma three, and then we must just say di because there's two of them. So dimethyl pentan one ol. Here's the next one. So we need to identify the longest continuous chain. So there we have five. So five is pent. Then we need to identify the homologous. Okay, so here we see that there is a double bond. So that means it's an alkene. Now that's taking place. Now if you had to name it from left to right, that would be carbon number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Oh, by the way, if you, you don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it. You could have found five doing this. You could have gone up like that. It still works out exactly the same at the end. If you labeled it from right to left, you'd get one, two, three, four, five. Five. So we're not looking at the branches. What we're looking at is the functional group. If we label it from right to left, then that double bond starts at carbon two. If we label it from left to right, then the double bond starts at carbon number three. So we're going to label it from right to left. And so on carbon number two, we have the double bond. Now we can look at the attachments. So we've got an attachment here and we have an attachment here. Each of those attachments have one carbon, so that's a methyl. So we can write the word methyl over here. Then that's taking place on carbon number two and three, so we can say two comma three and then dimethyl. Here's another one. So remember, step one is always identify the longest carbon chain. So in this case, that is eight, and so that will be over here, and so that is oct. Then we need to identify the homologous. Well, it's got a double bond over here, so it's an alkene. And so we're going to label it from left to right because we want to label it from the side that is closest to the functional group. So that's carbon number two. So on carbon number two, we have an alkene. And then we need to look at the attachment. So the only attachment that we have is a single carbon. So it only has one carbon, so that's methyl. So we can add methyl, and then that's taking place on carbon number two. Notice we don't say di or tri because there's only one. And so that's the end of this lesson, guys. Thank you very much for watching.